as a mayor, why does this loom to be such an explosive political year? Because this is the year of politics. This is the year when all of the white politicians are going to come into the Negro community. You never see them until election time. You can't blame them until election time. They're going to come in with false promises. And as they make these false promises, they're going to feed our frustrations. And this will only serve to make matters worse. I'm no politician. I'm not even a student of politics. I'm not a Republican, nor a Democrat, nor an American. And got sense enough to know it. I'm one of the 22 million black victims of the Democrats. One of the 22 million black victims of the Republicans and one of the 22 million black victims of Americanism. And when I speak, I don't speak as a Democrat or a Republican. I speak as a victim of America's so-called democracy. You and I have never seen democracy. All we've seen is hypocrisy. <laughs> When we open our eyes today and look around America, we see America not through the eyes of someone who, have, who has enjoyed the fruits of Americanism. We see America through the eyes of someone who has been the victim of Americanism. We don't see any American dream. We've experienced only the American nightmare. We haven't benefited from America's democracy. We've only suffered from America's hypocrisy. And the generation that's coming up now can see it and are not afraid to say it. If, if you go to jail, so what? If you're black, you were born in jail. If you're black, you were born in jail. In the north as well as the south. Stop talking about the south. Long as you south of the long as you south of the Canadian border, you're south. Don't call Governor Wallace a Dixie governor. Romney is a Dixie governor. Twenty-two million black victims of Americanism are waking up. And they're gaining a new political consciousness, becoming politically mature. And as they become, uh, develop this political maturity, they're able to see the recent trends in these uh, political elections. They see that the whites are so evenly divided that every time they vote, uh, the race is so close, they have to go back and count the votes all over again. And that, that, which means that any block, any minority that has a block of votes that stick together is in a strategic position. Either way you go, that's who gets it. You're, you're in a position to determine who go to the White House and who stay in the doghouse. You're the one who has that power. You can keep Johnson in Washington, D.C., or you can send him back to his Texas cotton patch. You're the one who sent Kennedy to Washington. You're the one who put the present Democratic administration in Washington, D.C. The whites were evenly divided. It was the fact that you threw 80% of your votes behind the Democrats that put the Democrats in the White House. This, when you see this, you can see that the Negro vote is the key factor. And despite the fact that you are in a position to, to be the determining factor, what do you get out of it? The Democrats have been in Washington, D.C. only because of the Negro vote. They've been down there four years, and they're all other legislation they wanted to bring up, they brought it up and got it out of the way, and now they bring up you. And now they bring up you. You put them first, and they put you last, because you're a chump. A political chump. In Washington, D.C., in the House of Representatives, there are 257 who are Democrats. Only 177 are Republican. In the Senate, there are 67 uh, Democrats. Only 33 are Republicans. The party that you bash, 
controls two-thirds of the House of Representatives in the Senate, and still they can't keep their promise to you, because you're a chump. Anytime you throw your weight behind a political party that controls two-thirds of the government and that party can't keep the promise that it made to you during election time and you are dumb enough to walk around continuing to identify yourself with that party, you are not only a chump, but you're a traitor to your race. they come up with. They try and pass the buck to the Dixiecrats. Now back during the days when you were blind, deaf, and dumb, ignorant, politically immature, naturally you went along with that. But today as your eyes come open and you develop political maturity, you're able to see and think for yourself. And you can see that a Dixiecrat is nothing but a Democrat in disguise.